Okay, so um, one of the vocabulary words that we learned last time was algorithm. Will you guys say that with me again? Algorithm. And what does it mean? Who remembers from so long ago? Andy, what does algorithm mean? A list of steps that you can follow to finish the task. Okay, a list of steps, right? I bet that you follow algorithms every single day and you don't even realize it. Is there an algorithm in this classroom that anyone sees? A list of steps that you follow to get something done? Jack. Schedule. The schedule, right? That's a list of things that you need to do all together at a certain time for this example. Or is, is there anything else? What do you think, Anya? Uh, there. Oh, I wrote a step, a list of steps for math. Yeah. That's an algorithm that you follow to get something done, right? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know that. That's so awesome. Okay, so I want you to think of a specific situation where you have to follow a list of steps to get something done. So I'll plant the seed in your brain. Think about what does it take for you to get to school in the morning? There's a whole series of events that happens, right? So if you were explaining your life to someone that didn't know you and you said, well, in the morning, I go to school. The person that didn't know you might be like, well, do you live at school? Do you eat at school? Do you take a shower or a bath and then get dressed at school? Or is school at your house? Like you, you just go to school. That's it. Aren't there a whole lot of steps in between? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So who can start me off with a list? Let's do this together as a class. Let's make a list of steps we have to do to get to school in the morning. Arjun, will you start us? What's going to be step number one? Well, maybe wake up and get out of bed. OK, let's title this getting to school. Okay, so number one's going to say get out of bed. Do you guys all agree with that? Yeah. You have to go from your horizontal position to vertical to get out of bed. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Ariane, what's next? And we can go generalize. To go to the bathroom. A lot of people do that. Go to the bathroom or take a shower. Okay, so there's our algorithm. There's our list for getting from the morning time to getting to school. There's all these steps. Did you realize that you were doing 11 steps before you got to school? Wow. Yeah. Okay, some of you did, yeah. And if you break it down even further, there's a million steps, right? So sometimes it's nice to generalize, like with getting your supplies. You don't have to list every single supply you understand that that's a general term for what you're doing. Okay, so what I want us to practice today is thinking about more steps and specifically, I want you to think about the steps that you need to follow to make paper airplanes. What? <gasps> paper airplanes? The steps that you need to make paper airplanes. Some of you are saying, but I don't know how to make paper airplanes. Well, that's perfect because we're going to learn how to make paper airplanes. So I have a couple of things to hand out to you. And in the first sheet, you are deciding, you're deciding the steps that you follow to make a paper airplane. So you're gluing the six correct steps how many choices are there? Does anyone know? Can you do quick math? How many choices are there on the paper? Scion. Nine. nine. There's nine choices. And there's six correct steps. So will there be extra will there be leftovers? Yes. Okay, so six steps. Right? That's one one part. And what are we doing with those steps? Are we putting them helter skelter? No. We're putting them in order. Okay, so in order. And then what's next? Trade. Okay, so we'll trade after that. Trade.
trade your finished algorithm with another person or group and let them use it to make an actual flying paper airplane. <gasps> Dramatic gasp. <gasps> paper airplanes. Okay, so you'll trade it and then your partner will make an actual air airplane. I would love to make an airplane. Okay, so does this help you to review our steps? Yeah. Right, these are the important bits. If this was model drawing math, this would be our important, important bits. Yeah, so let's do this. So for this activity, it takes a long time for the kids to cut out the steps themselves. So if you want to do this quicker, it'd be worth cutting out the steps and giving each kid an envelope with the steps cut out. That takes that difficulty out of it and you can get through the lesson a little quicker. Something else you could use instead of folding paper airplanes for this activity is planting a seed, following steps to plant a seed, or anything origami that is folding, paper is easy to get. If you could add anything to the list of instructions that we had, what would you have added? Arjun, what do you think? I would add deco art because I mean, it might look better with the deco. Okay, so we could add decorate on. That'd be a good one to add. I can write that in a different color. These are things that we could add to this to this list. Decorate. What else would you add or change? I heard some kids saying that it was difficult to make the paper airplane out of the same paper that had the instructions on it. Yeah. Would you change that? Oh, yeah. Would In your instructions, would you say, get another piece of paper to make the paper airplane? Yeah. It is wasting trees. You'd have to decide what's important. So could I write, get another piece of paper, question mark? Yeah. OK. OK. Those are some great ideas.